Given capital F of x is equal to g of x to the third power, where the graph of g and its tangent line at x equals 4 are shown, what is the value of f prime of 4? So they give us g of x right over here in blue, and they also show us the, slow, the, they show us the tangent line at x equals 4 right over here. So we need to figure out f prime of 4. So let's just rewrite this information they've given us. We know that f of x, f of x is equal to g of x to the third power. So I'll write it like this, g of x, g of x to the third power. So we want to figure out what f prime of x is when x is equal to 4. So let's just take the derivative here of both sides with respect to x. So take the derivative of the left-hand side with respect to x, and take the derivative of the right-hand side with respect to x. So the left-hand side, this is just going to be capital F prime of x. Capital F prime of x. Now on the right-hand side, I have a composite. I have g of x to the third power. So first, we can view this as the product of the derivative of g of x to the third power with respect to g of x. So there, we can literally just apply what we know about the power rule. Yeah, the derivative of x to the third is 3x. The derivative of x to the third with respect to x is 3x squared. So the derivative of gx to the third with respect to g of x is just going to be 3 times g of x to the second power. And then we're going to multiply that times the derivative of g of x with respect to x. So times g prime of x. And this comes straight out of the chain rule. Derivative of this is derivative of g of x to the third with respect to g of x, which is this, times the derivative of g of x with respect to x, which is that right over, right over there. So now let's just substitute. We want, we want to figure out what this derivative is when x is equal to 4. So we could say that f prime of 4 is equal to 3 times g of 4 squared times g prime of 4. So what is g of 4? What is g of 4 going to be? Well, we can just look at our function right over here. When x equals 4, our function is equal to 3. Our function is equal to 3. So g of 4 is equal to 3. And what's g prime of 4? So when, our, when x equals 4, g prime of 4 is the slope of the tangent line. And they've drawn us, they've drawn the tangent line when x equals 4 here. So what is the slope of this line? So we just have to think about change in y over change in x. And I'll look at that between two integer valued coordinates. So it look, looks like between these two points. And when we increase x by 2, we decrease y, we decrease y by 4. So as you remember, slope is rise over run or change in y over change in x. So the slope of the tangent line here, the slope is equal to our change in y, negative 4, over our change in x. And this is, just, this is going to be equal to negative 2. So this is equal to negative 2. So this simplifies to f prime of 4 is equal to, I'll do this in a new color, 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is equal to negative 54. So f prime of 4 is negative 54.